this video, I talk about the largest underground tunnel in Afghanistan and the tunnel that China is going to build another tunnel next to this tunnel. In the heart of the snow-covered Hindu Kush mountain range, a link between Afghanistan's past and future has emerged. Salong Tunnel, a masterpiece of modern infrastructure that started with the birth of the history and culture of this land. One tunnel, two realms. From north to south, Afghanistan discovers a new route with the help of the Salang Tunnel. It is a bridge for trade, cultural communication, and solidarity of the nation. Since ancient times, these routes carried not only transport roads, but also the most daring stories of Afghan people. Today, the Salang Tunnel is experiencing the most historical seasons of this land, not only by reducing time and distance, but also by starting again. Join us on this journey of trials, struggles, and empathy. The Salang Tunnel is a link that proudly connects the history and future of Afghanistan. Salang Tunnel is located at an altitude of 3,950 meters above sea level and in the central position of the snow-covered mountains of Hindu Kush. The length of this tunnel is 2.7 kilometers. The construction of this tunnel started in 1337 AH and ended after six years in 1343 AH. This project was started during Dawood Khan's presidency with the cooperation of the then Soviet government. The height of this tunnel is 5 meters and its width is 6 meters. Most of the work of this project was done by the forces of the Afghan army during the time of Lieutenant Colonel Mohammad Nassim Khan. The construction cost of this tunnel was 636 million US dollars. This tunnel has shortened the distance between North and South Afghanistan by 110 kilometers. This tunnel connects northern Afghanistan to southern Afghanistan. Before the construction of this tunnel, trade and transportation were carried out through the snow-covered mountains of Hindu Kush. In ancient times, people traveled from north to south of Afghanistan through five difficult roads. These roads were the highway between Badgis and Herat, through Marghab and Kunel Nukotak, the second highway between Bamyan and mazar -e sharif the third road from Kanjan to the north, the fourth road between Badakhshan and Panjshir, and the fifth road between Badakhshan and Nuristan. Currently, two of its highways, Herat, Badgis, and Salanga, have been built, and the rest is in Qam. In the future, the construction of each of these roads is necessary. The idea of connecting the north to the south of Afghanistan through a paved highway was born after the reign of Amir Shir Ali Khan. Afghan kings were forced to use modern Russian industrial products in order to defend and develop their homeland. It was necessary to transfer such devices to a solid and basic highway. In the years 1302-1308, Amir Habibullah Khan wanted to connect the northern Salang with the southern Salang through Shabar Road. Karain took Ashrafi's gold and Nikolai's silver at a cost of 40,000. The construction of this road was completed by the Afghan army under the command of engineer Birgit Abdul Giyat. This road was able to solve the problems of the government and the people to some extent, but it had three problems. One was that it had not been bitumen. Second, there were many distances in harvest. And third, the highway was often blocked due to snowfall in winter. For these reasons, this road could not meet the needs of the people until the Afghan government, with the cooperation of the former Soviet Union government, built the Salanga Road in a basic and mature way. This road has a 2.7 kilometers long tunnel. In the first stages, the Salang Tunnel had the capacity to transport 600 cars in one day. In 1352, the capacity of the tunnel received the capacity of 2,000 cars in one night by installing ventilation machines. Salang Tunnel was normally open to traffic until 1993. In 1372, Khorshidi, a fierce war broke out between Abdul Rashid Dostum and Ahmad Shah Massoud. Massoud and Commander Basir Salangi destroyed the road for several kilometers in order to prevent the entry of General Dostum's forces. This road was blocked and difficult to pass after the explosion of a bomb in a large natural water pond. In 1998, in order to prevent the Taliban from entering, the opening of this tunnel was blown up by Jamayat-e-Islami forces. 
The work of reviving this tunnel started after 2002 with the cooperation of the World Bank because the tunnels are located at a final height of the Hindu Kush mountain range. Every year, it is blocked by avalanches and causes human casualties. The coldness of this place in winter reaches minus 25, 30 degrees Celsius. On December 18th, 2022, a fuel tanker exploded in the Salang Tunnel, killing at least 31 people and injuring 37 others, including women and children. And China is going to build another big tunnel next to the old Salang Tunnel in Afghanistan. China builds this tunnel in exchange for the extraction of some mines in Afghanistan for the people of Afghanistan. And this contract has been signed with the Taliban government. As an important infrastructure in Afghanistan, Salang Tunnel has many benefits and effects for the region and the country as a whole. Below are some of the main benefits of this tunnel. By shortening the route from the north to the south of Afghanistan, the Salang Tunnel directly reduces the travel time and distance between these two regions. In addition to increasing economic and commercial efficiency, this provides more facilities for travelers. This tunnel serves as an important transit route for trade and exchange of goods and services between northern and southern Afghanistan. This possibility will increase the volume of trade and income of the region. By creating this tunnel and using modern technologies in it, transportation facilities and safety for passengers and goods will be improved. This increases the trust and preference of people to use this route. As an attraction and communication axis between different regions, Salang Tunnel helps to create social and cultural interactions between different tribes and ethnicities of Afghanistan. These connections can help strengthen national solidarity and positive interactions in the country. The construction of the Salang Tunnel can help the development and prosperity of areas that have had access problems so far. This tunnel can lead to the creation of new job opportunities, development of infrastructure, and improvement of living conditions of people in these areas. This tunnel can help facilitate the transfer of military and security forces throughout the country. This can help strengthen Afghanistan's defense and security capabilities. The Salang Tunnel will help provide more efficient public transportation options between different regions of Afghanistan. This increases people's access to basic services, such as health, education, and employment. As the use of the Salang Tunnel increases, the traffic on other routes, which were used as main routes until now, will decrease. This leads to the reduction of air pollution, traffic jams, and extra time for passengers. The existence of the Salang Tunnel and improved transportation facilities in the region can help attract tourists to Afghanistan. These areas with beautiful nature and stunning scenery can offer unique tourist attractions. Building and updating transportation infrastructure will improve technological possibilities in these areas. This path can help facilitate the upgrading of technology, expertise, and capabilities of the Afghan people. In general, the Salang Tunnel helps to improve economic, social, security, and cultural conditions in Afghanistan. This project will bring about significant changes in people's lifestyle, develop deprived areas, and create better facilities for the future of the country. Thank you for watching until the next video.